Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Alicia. I'm a So Crafty teacher. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Hoop Master. Stay tuned and I hope you learn some new tricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and keep watching. So today I'm going to show you how I use my Hoop Master. I also use the Tazy's ruler to find my um, center location but i'm going to use this today if you see right here on the bottom ladies and men it tells you where to adjust the collar and what size so i'm going to be doing a male large so i need to have my hoop i need this set up at e19 so you can see there's clearly numbers on here right chest left chest and I'm looking for E19 so E is gonna how much I need to pull it down this is how low the collar needs to be and then I need to find 19 over here on the left chest so I found 19 gonna put it there and as you can see it's there it's very hard to zoom in but it is most definitely E19 Okay, so now that I have it, and I'm going to be using a traditional hoop today. I'm actually going to be using my 3 by 9 So now that I have, this is a standard hoop. I do not have the one that's used for Mighty Hoops, but I do have like the free arm um, for the magnetic ones. So I'm using 3 by 9 by 3 by 9 So... What I'm going to do is just simply just place this inside so it's placed like this. Then I'm going to take, if I have my frame here, now I'm going to lift these two up. This is, these two things hold your stabilizer. So these two flaps I have to lift up. So I'm going to lift those up. Put my stabilizer, my two sheets of stabilizer my two sheets of stabilizer here clamp it clamp it and now I'm going to position my shirt it's already zone 19 I need it on E so I need to make sure I pull it down all the way to E so I can make sure I have my left chest logo in the right place so I'm using a um, this customer requested uh, a pro club men's thick high quality pro club literally just take the shirt show you my mug before I have to move it y'all look at that ooh so crafty teacher mug I'm gonna throw the shirt over the hoop master so I have it here <clears throat> it says to pull it down to E so that's D keep pulling it down Make sure it's straight till it gets to E. So I want the collar to be on E on E. So E is set in the right position. E19. Make sure my shirt is straight. Checking my seams. And I'm gonna make sure it's on E. Okay, so I have it. And if you don't have one of these, like I said, you can use the ruler I used in my other video. Okay, so now that I have it, I'm going to take it, set my hoop in place, push down, it pops up. So now I have it, it's my left chest, everything where it needs to be, it's on there, it's tight, it's positioned where it needs to be positioned, and I just simply take this and slide it off. And I have my placement for my lip chest logo. And I'm going to take it over here to my machine. My design has been centered in, in, in brilliant. So I'm going to put it over here. So my stabilizer is already hooped. Because I already hooped it when I used the hoop master. So I have my design already centered. As you can see, my design is here. Easy cuts LLC. You saw me do one of the shirts in my other videos. This one I'm using my Hoop Master. So, 
Now you can see that the center point is right here. If you follow where the center is, it's already aligned. So once you align it in, in Brilliance Essentials and you place it here, it's perfect alignment every single time. So I'm going to go ahead and let this start. And this logo takes about 12 minutes. Center where it needs to be. Stick your stabilizer from another project. So I have it, and now I'm gonna take this and put it on the other machine. Well, that is all for this video. I hope you learned how to use the Hoop Master. I have many more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get all of my notifications for my lives and for my videos. Have a great day. Ciao.